Welcome back to Rider Project DIY. We're back in the bedroom where the magic happens. Now, I think I might have showed you this in a previous video, um, but when me and Martin came out in the winter, this door was wedged shut where it's swollen so much because it's like so damp out here. Um, it's got better, but it's still, if I can just show you, don't know if you've picked this up on camera, but you can see it's like a banana. Um, it's a hundred percent better than what it was, but it's still got a little bit more shrinkage end to do to go back. And obviously that will happen now in hotter weather. Um, I've just put some nicer T hinges on, uh, like the other doors. Uh, this was just a makeshift thing we done in the in the winter, which I scavenged a couple of. Um, changes off the camper van so since it's been on it's swollen it's bowed it's done all sorts um it's now flush at the top but if you look at the bottom it's a mile out um i've just put some makeshift door stop on the inside there old piece of wood um and down to the bottom i've just put that in place where it should be and if we put that in, it stops where it should do there. The bottom doesn't, but it will push in, all right? So when I put the door lock on now, hopefully you'll hold it in place and start the process of pulling the bow out. Um, but I'll probably have to put something on the bottom. Maybe when it shrinks back, you know, it does, does silly things and stupid things would, and you can never predict it. So I'm gonna show you how to put one of the latches on here they are i brought these from the uk i couldn't find anything like this out here um if we just show them if we come outside so there it is there on that side's a gate latch and on there quite nice but there's a lot of play in there which i'm not happy with the last time I fitted these, these were much tighter, which means that when this shuts up against the door stop, it's always gonna do that. So I think I'm gonna have to chisel out of this wood to take that in further. So this goes in and this part is tighter to the outer part there. At the moment, there's a good three mil gap, as you can see. Well, a bit of architrave gotta go on there then too. The architrave will go around, but I'll have to cut around this, mind. There's no way if so buts about it. Okay. So, back into the room. Now when I made these doors, these are all central, and I've worked it out 20 centimeters from that. There we are. Twenty centimeters off the top of there. Oh, in fact, I've already done the Done the mark in there. That's where the oil is going to go. What did I come in? 70 mil. You can get away with it being a further across there, a little bit across there, but not much. That's, that's where I think it looks the best. Um, okay. Now, if I add wood flat bits with me, which I haven't, if you look at that, and if you look at it from the side, that's got to go inside the wood. So to measure that diameter around there and that pin, I would say is about 21 mil, 22 mil. So I've got to drill a circular hole like that, but I haven't got any flat bits with me. So we're going to, going to do multi hole. So I've kind of like formed a circle there. Um, just going to change the drill bit to a larger one. You can see I'm just going to turn it around and around the leather drill tape. Form the circle. Now 
I'm kind of like using that part of the drill um, as it spins and just to take the wood out. Obviously this is not the neatest way. clean it now with a chisel or maybe I have got a jigsaw here somewhere if I can find it and I'll try to get a jigsaw here. going to try that this will be from this side so it doesn't matter how messy that is it's not going to be seen but the other side is seen a little bit as I'll show you now so we want to clean that up a little bit better so work on this side Tom no hunger um, so it's behind that latch there so it's not really seen um, I don't mind it, you know, we'll put a bit of sandpaper on it, but we're going for the old farmhouse effect uh, anyway, so that's fine. She just asked me if I want a cider. Where's a cider to? Apple juice. Apple juice, cider. <laughs> oh, Nana Burn. Right, got a bit of sandpaper, yeah. I'm roll this up. Tighter than that. But if you had a flat bit, which I'm assuming would be 21, 22 mil, you wouldn't have to do none of this. It would be nice and clean. But I haven't gone anything with me. just about going in you feel that then was just still rubbing somewhere in there but only just and he goes in and he's nice and flush there we go okay now what I've noticed with this as well so it was a little technique I could have showed you you want this square so you could have had your builder's square um, Move, move the ruler out till it touched there and then you know this was bang on but if you look at let's call them levarts that levart is bigger than this one so that wouldn't work so the distance from there to there is different from the bottom because the bottom one is smaller so i call it carpenter's eye so we know the top one's there let's bring it in there Okay, let's get another screw. Uh, so open the door, stand back, and just eye it through. And I'd say that's about it. I've got a bonk eye. I've got a bonk eye. Um, <laughs> guess someone who hasn't got a bonk eye. So you just have to eye it because, they, like I said, that level is smaller than that, so you can't uh, measure it in.
Okay. The latch is on there. Easy and X three bits. So this one goes above that. This one and that all there is to actually put a pin in it, do a lock to make sure that's at the top. And basically we are doing that. We know that's on a downward position, ready to pick it up. So you rest that bar on there. I need a couple of pairs of hands to show it that. That will lift up, put them all across, and I try to get the top of that level with the top of that so it looks perfectly square. So first things first, take that off. Now when this, I just put this in, so it's just leaving a little tiny bit of a gap of wood there. And then I bring that to the end of there, like so. And if you want to step back and eye it back, you could, it doesn't matter if you, you could do it like that. You can have it like that, it doesn't matter. So let's just get it as square as possible, which is there. I got a pencil just in case it moves. So you need a pencil mark. Get your screw ready. a bit tornado back to heat up. What you don't want is it like that or like that. So you just hang it through the shoulder gap there, that looks good. That one's done. This one on next. Okay, so you can let it come through a bit if you want, but just get it on the end there, nice, and just eyeball that up. Said. So that's how it's going to work, like so. And if you've been a naughty girl, again, just stand back and look at the levart. I can see that levart's twisted that way a bit. So I'm trying to tap in my cross. Yeah, I am up. I'm pretty. That's pretty good. Ah, <clears throat> good old screws. Can you see what happened there? The edge just snapped right off the top. And the impact that <coughs> didn't even kick in. So it was a bad screw. Let's just see if I can get one in. Otherwise, it's a dang and hurt, but it looks a lot better. I don't think I am. have to take it back off now try to get something in it to pull that out but it'll do for now let's finish this off let's open it up close it back down now this can go anywhere wrong there 
Now don't push it right up. If you push it right up to it touches, notice how that looks is, is higher than that. Yeah. So let's, let's level him up there and put him in. And that screw I've totally rounded. So is it? We've got a bad batch of screws here. That's soft as hell. Need to get our pliers now. tiny bit and just rounded. That's bad. Huh? Okay, so because this, these are not that good, you've got that much play in them, bring our camera around by you. When the light comes through, you can see. Look how much play you've got in there. So for me to get this in so this is nice and tight, we are going to take this, we'll draw around it, and then chisel that into the door frame. So when you shut this, because that's touching there now, can you show me that? That that is touching there. When that goes in, it takes the old dough in. However much we're going to take it in. And hopefully starting to get a bend out of this door. Um, these do come with a little chain, which again, you can put it wherever you want and it fits in there to stop that from opening. So you've got your lock. Okay. And on the other ones, I just came in about 10 mil from the end at the diagonal and put it around about there. You can put it in. I did use this on one of them to hold it and screw it in, but it's still quite hard. It's not very good. So I did pilot all that. So I'm going to pilot all that now. Me green drill. Drill bits that small. Yeah, much it won't even, okay. won't even go in there. Let's have a bit of an egg size up. Yeah, that will fit. So here we are. About, come to the corner there. 10 mil diagonally, just a tiny, tiny bit of all. Might have got carried away then. I've done it too much. But I still found it easier using. A long nose players. Using this, you can push it in a bit. Oh, there we go. That's in there nice and tight. And that slots in there. And there's your lock from both ends. Keep the burglars out at night. 
as Tony said, keep me out. And I've been a naughty boy. So yeah, we've got to try to pull that in now somehow. But ideally, first step is to take that in. So that's how to fit them. Different doors will be different. Sometimes I've, I've, I've fitted these a couple of times and that gap in there is nowhere near as big. I've actually had to take the paint off inside once because that wouldn't even fit down in there. It was that tight and it should be tight. I prefer them to be tight, but they are kind of like a gate latch. So what's um, happening around the side of the door here? You know, well, the architrave will go back on there now eventually. The yeah. um, Tony's been in here filling. Um, I did, when, when we rendered this back in, obviously we put this door frame in, if you see it on our previous videos, I remember rendering it. And then because we were so busy when we were out here, I forgot about it. So this was just whole lumps of cement basically, which we've just chiseled back off um, and sanded back because I didn't find it down or sponge it down when I done it originally. So yeah, we're gonna try to get this bedroom done and finished now. Um, I think I'll cut around that now in a second, try to take that in a bit further. Look at how the architrave will fit in, cut the architrave around that. Um, and put some cork around the skirting boards. Um, you can see the nails are sticking out on these. The reason I do that is because I knew the job wasn't finished. So you never hammer them all the way home. Just easy to pull out. And the same goes here when the architrave goes on here. These are now in the way. These ones you cannot cut into the frame. Um, so we'll be cutting around there as well. So if you cut into the frame there, the door would be taken in further, see. Mm -hmm. So we'll just do a little bit of uh, chiseling around there now and we'll paint a little bit. Ten four over and out. <laughs> 